Here we are at Silverstone Circuit from Great Britain. It's a really cloudy day. We have not been expecting any rain today from the weather forecast and the weather is softly about 17 to 90 degrees Celsius. It might even improve or clear skies today as we progress. Today we'll be riding as Valentino Rossi from the factory Yamaha taking number 46 with this lap time of 2 minutes 6 seconds point 645. Taking pole position is from that factory Honda is Mark Marquez getting the fastest lap of this circuit with the time of 2 minutes 6 seconds point 135. Following him on the front row at P3 will be Alexis wins from the Suzuki team and at P2 will be Andrea Dovizioso from Ducati. We will be starting off soon here at the Silverstone circuit with bikers running around in the warm up lap here. We will be seeing quite a change for the setups and there will be gradual improvements here and there as the bikers complete their warm-up lap and here they are everybody is on their toes for the start of this massive race in Silverstone Great Britain it's been a great comeback for all of the riders this season to start off early in Great Britain they are mid-bracing this weekend and trying to get maximum grip of it for this day to come. The best record recorded being in the Silverstone circuit is 2 minutes and 2 seconds by Ohe Lorenzo. Ok the races are ready. The teams are packing up and exiting the grid. Bikers at their nerves. Getting on the front row, Mark Marquez hoping to maintain his lead on his first lap and taking that pole position. Let's see. Now we have opted for the medium and soft tire combo, soft being the front and hard, medium being the rear. I think so, the tire exhaustion won't be much and the tear and wear will be proportional as long as you know the circuit and the lap length only is around 10 laps so there won't be any fuel compromises so I hope to finish the last two laps on maximum power and trying to get the engine braking right. Let's see how we are able to do good in the corners because there's been a little bit of wobble and there's not been a great amount of uh, acceleration entering into the corners but we'll see. Here we are on the start of the grid, ready to face off the opponents here. Mark Marquez being very very focused right now. Let's see and here we go. We start off from this early time race and there's a contact between Bagnaya. Oh my god, into the corners, exit at P5. Mark Marquez taking his lead. Following him is Dovizioso, Alex Renz and Bagnaya, Franco Mopidelli at tail of Valentino Rossi and here they exit. There's not been much of a crashes here but there's a progression into turn 5 there. Oh my god, riders have been in contact there. Taking P6, exiting turn 5, going in for the straight. Rossi trying to take back P5 there. Getting inside of it, there's no contact. He tries to maintain his composure, exiting the turn seven. Here we enter into turn eight. But Frank Morbidelli, he easily passes away from the inside of Valentino Rossi. He's trying to fight back when he goes off track there. Mark Marquez being early on the lead here. As he starts off on the front row, Franco Morbidelli clearly showing who the boss is around Valentino Rossi, but there's a contact. Trying to cope up with the speed here, Valentino Rossi. Franco Morbidelli again goes on the outside, Valentino Rossi, but Franco Morbidelli maintains his position. But 
and until Rosie gets uh, drowned around the next corner. Here they go, wheel to wheel. It's been a quite a start from Valentino Rossi, but he easily passes over. Oh my god, that's a wheelie, he's unable to control the bike and here he goes, off track and offline there. Oh my god, that's a huge advantage for the following riders there. You've seen, special of two overtakes, trying Valentino Rossi to take down on P4. He still tries to maintain P4 while entering again in turn 1 after the first lap there. This he is able to maintain his position there. Lexus Marcus. Okay, oh my god, that's the outside of the Vizioso. The Vizios are trying to go wide there and Lexus wins too. Oh my god, that's a, that's a contact and a crash for the Vizioso entering the turn 5 and exiting was a really disastrous option for him. Now he has run out of race and he directly tries contacting with Alex Rins. Marquez taking it a top notch. Alex Rins being laid on the brakes into the turn 8. Oh my god, Morbidelli passes him again, challenging Rossi to stay composed there. Rossi trying to get it back. You can see Alex Marquez being persistent backside to take P5 there. Oh my god, Valet. Here we can notice him. Oh my god, another penalty for Valentino Rossi there. He's trying to get the turns right here. Moving around. Oh my god, another off track drive, and he leaves another three riders into an opening position there. But he regains his speed and try to you know, get into that line. He struggles on the lap two. to lap 3 he gets on into the turn 1 to regain his position for P3 there Lele. Lexus Rain being very composed on the corners here Marquez has already put a good lead you can see a herd of drivers there you know, Trying the same things that the top leaders have been doing here, top three positions. Rossi again goes outside of Alex Rins and he easily passes Alex Rins by going wide there. Alex Rins exiting that corner. Valet being, oh my god, he's been really late on the brakes and unable to control, but he exits off another corner, staying composed there. His problems could have been avoided if you know the center of gravity of the bike would have been lowered by you know softening up the front suspension. Any who's I think he was getting a better grip out of the medium tires there, getting into the early front brakes. Another off track by Andrew Ross, he gets a penalty of Another 0 0.3 seconds off, off of the corner. I'm trying to get in the curb to get you know uh, wear and tear to increase traction control there. It's a good strategic decision from him. But we'll have to see how he does another off track move there. Unable to get a direction pinned. The free practice session went really well for Valentino Rossi. The two, two free practices was a good start for him. 
although he didn't make the fastest lap out of it which tells that he has been really composed struggling to get that wheelie down shifting his weight towards the front of the bike to keep it moving forward which gives him about a gap of 0.0 you know non zero it's 6 seconds off of uh, Mark Marquez he goes down on Marquez oh my god he got the inside of Marquez Marquez regaining by a heavy contact on Valentino Rossi and he progresses forward but he goes outside but into turn 8 Marquez oh my god that's a tough competition it's it's, it's challenging situation for Valle over here He runs up a little bit on the curbs. Rossi coming in super late on those brakes, trying to minimize those efforts. Marquez trying to go out of control. He was unable to control his bikes on the front end, and Valentino Rossi regains his position from two into a prominent race-leading position. Now he has already put a. lap distance 0.125 seconds between him and Marquez super wide on the corners but tries to maintain the lead here he really has smoothed out this body out position being in you know aggressive mode here Rossi attacking those corners getting off of the lap four into turn one that is so smooth from Valentino Rossi we have loved him for these corners into the bearing straights of the he's in turn five here He tries to manage his traction by hitting those curves and getting a fast acceleration on these straights. You can see that his race line has a little bit of, you know, a different scope to it. Super early on those brakes at these corners and trying to manage his position into the racing line. Was he Paxson? Three seconds of lead at Marquez now into the lap five of the circuit. If I'm not wrong, what a show he has put Valentino Rossi already challenging Marquez, but Marquez doesn't give up. He's trailing Valentino Rossi with a three-second lead, which has been pushed over to a four-second lead now. being super composed at these corners we have seen him take a lot of podium positions but this has to be meaning a lot taking it on gp20 at great britain here at silverstone we were talking about valentino rossi and uh, Um, we had an interview with him. He was telling that uh, he wasn't able to get a lot of control of his bike at these corners, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But uh, Marquez, the only one being trying to hunt down Valle at this point, Valle being really composed at these corners. You can see him flying by. He doesn't even care. And guys, thank you for watching. If you have been this much through this video, and uh, this was just a uh, you know uh, trying to make a good uh, you know uh, good kind of a routine on uploading videos, and I thought why not do a live commentary kind of thing. So this is what I try to do, and uh, 
Yeah, you can see it's really fun. Oh my god, Rafi runs off of the track there, but uh, trying to you know, get a grip by getting along the line here. The back has not been good to him. Steering has been really, really you know, wobbling around. Trying to, you know, maintain his posture throughout the lazing night. It's not been a lot of time into the race, but there are chances that Marquez will be regaining his position as pole with a few mistakes around the corners here. And Rossi being aware of that, trying to ride more aggressively and composed as he could. He's trying the lines as hard as it can be. And he has been generating a lot of risks. Yamaha yeah, team. They have been phenomenal with the Grand Prix here at Silverstone Circuit as every time they have been finishing off of the lap 6 into the turn 1 we couldn't see Marquez there coming out of the blinds there. Making his corners right here Valentino Rossi. Early braking there. Oh my god, you can really see where the bike unfolds and gets the traction at you know a uh, certain braking positions. I think that Rossi has been trying to manage it all the way from lap three there. We can see Marquez on that straight exiting turn 5 and 6 early braking there provided him with a lot of traction but yet he tries to find the steering in a particular direction and it's been understeering a lot Marquez chasing him down with it off track Stunt that Rossi pulled over at turn 17 there. He's closing down on this opportunity here, Marquez. He has already put a lead over 5.5 seconds, 0 0.650. The choice of soft and medium tires is kind of the most favorite for me because I could really get those uh, front steerings to go in the direction that I want. So I've selected the soft tires, but uh, you could ask a lot of basic questions that doesn't uh, soft tire doesn't uh, wear off easily. Yes, it does, but not in these kind of situations where the heat off of the track is very much less. So it's easy to get a lot of traction there. So I opted for the soft tires there and the medium for you know early braking around here and there. Uh, however, I the wear and tear on the rear was high than the front, so it was uh, it was manageable at this point in the circuit. You know, we couldn't see Marquez, Tobizio, so and the Lexus wins on it. Marquez being very very sharp at those corners and he comes over for the turn 5 and 6 there he's really really closing in on Valentino Rossi here he runs again oh my god he got wobbled he needs to be really really careful around the corners and he kind of tries to be composed but the bike doesn't doesn't assist him during the situations coming off of that turn 20 and getting in the finish line going on for the lap 7 here into turn 1 there Rossi has been pushed off wide on that corner trying to say consistent there we could still see a lot of wheelie that's due to the center of gravity of the bike if the center of gravity of the bike was a little lowered and you know towards the front end of the bike then 
this issue wouldn't be so persistent going off oh my god that's a heartbreaking there really tries to make that consistent around these corners Rossi has been running only at half the power and still manages to get around Rossi has already put a 6 seconds lead on Mark Marquez. Exiting turn 6 with a longer straight and a good acceleration from Valentino Rossi with the early braking, early, early braking there. Really getting those hard and good tear on the Rear brakes there. Was he trying to? Oh my God! The completely, he's completely run over by that, losing three seconds off of his lead here. At, he tries to be off track for a while. That's a bold move from Rossi, considering Marcus closing him down. Sitting that turn one, turn two there. Marquez has only got 3 seconds on Valentino Rossi, if he tries, this is a good opportunity for Marquez. If he tries to close down on Ma Valentino Rossi, it's sure that he could take a pole position here at Silverstone. The Honda factory team, they have re really tried hard on the straight deceleration problems here at the GP20. The Suzuki have been strong, the legs runs coming off on P3 at most of his circuits and he has been more than consistent here and we must acknowledge him for that. The Suzuki have been consistent, Marquez, oh my god he is closing in on Valet, putting him on 4 seconds lead. From Marquez's valley. Oh my god. Really going off there. But Valley, he knows his racing lines. Exiting the turn 5 and turn 6 into those great, great straights. Ooh. That's some aggressive riding from Rossi there. Marquez into turn it into lap nine here. Sorry, this must be the finishing lap. Oh my god. You could see the wear and tear of his rear bike here, right here. It's a lot of wear. Oh my god. Struggles to manage that position here, but off of his finishing lap here at Silverstone Great Britain, will Valet be able to take a podium here? Really aggressive riding from Valentino Rossi hand here and taking to this corner very very composed and he seems to oh my god he has got his racing line back he's back on track Valet a lot of people have been telling that the more he rides off road on you know with the bikes and he has found a lot of control here and finishing off his final lap Valet takes podium here and here comes uh, Mark Marquez at 3, okay, Mark Marquez is at 3, 
with Alex Marcus taking P2, getting only 3.760 behind Valentino Rossi. That's a good position that he closed him in. Maverick Vinales, oh, he makes P4 at 11. 11 seconds put behind on. Uh, 20, 21 minutes 13 seconds 4445 4, 4, that's what is Valentino Rossi's overall time with 10 laps there 21 minutes 13 seconds 0.445 his best lap was 2 minutes 4 seconds and 6.05 Lex Marquez he finishes 3 seconds shy Mark Marquez finishes 5, five seconds high Maverick Vinales Gets a 11 second try and next up P5 is Alexis wins and P6 is Fabio Cotraro and P7 is John Mayer Tito Robat at P8 and P9 comes Jack Miller with the factory Ducati and factory Ducati Tito Robat at P8 which which is a uh, a disaster situation for the Ducati factory team. Suzuki has been taking them over for two to three years and they've been, they've been trying to improve their situations but there's not really hope on Silverstone here. We'll however see a lot of changes in the championship here coming in into the pits is Valentino Rossi. From that is Alex Marquez from the Honda factory team with his brother Mark Marquez there ending it P10 is Franco Morbidelli who clearly gave challenge around the lap 2 for Valentino Rossi he made a good point there P11 is Johan Zarco at P12 is Alex Espargaro Andrea Anononi Takaki Nakagami at P15, Crutchlow at 15, Brad Binder at 16, Miguel Oliveira at P18. That's that's really a shame for them with the KTM team he has been having around. But Daniel Petrucci at P19. That's that's another massive fail for Ducati. At the Silverstone Circuit, Paul Espargaro at P20. And P20 is Francesco Bagnaia. 22 is Andrea Dovizioso. He had a crash and he was unable to finish when he was exiting off of the turn 7 and having a really massive contact on the rear end of Valentino Rossi. And he hopes to recover soon on that. We'll, be, we'll probably wish a speedy recovery for him to be joining us on the next circuit here by the way if Andrea, Andrea Dovizioso was on the line we could have seen Ducati somewhere on P5 or P4 but this was a tough race for all of them here Emma even Valentino Rossi was telling about the handling capabilities of the factory Yamaha bike that he was having to drive over and here comes in the stages for the championship. Whereas, oh, he looks absolutely rejoiced in the situation. Getting his, getting his first victory here at Valentin. Valentino Rossi in Silverstone Circuit. Here he cheers up his fans and his engineers around. Oh my god, that's crazy. He's really getting it there. Honda team is also happy they are taking second and third positions here at Silverstone Circuit. Here with the award ceremony. We are picking up again live from the track where the top three riders have the just arrived Grand on the Prix. podium for the award ceremony. Here men and folk makes its own story, taking the podium is Valentino Rossi. Cheer him up. I think P2 is Alex Marquez and P3 is Mark Marquez. Here goes his podium finish at Silver Star GP20. Oh, 
leaving you off and see you again in one another video with this stream at MotoGP 20. Hope you guys all liked it. It was a fun part doing this commentary and uh, yeah, see you guys on the next video.